Welcome legendary fans, it's October, so it's time to slay some vampires. That's right, it's the 8th annual Buffy League. Each year for the month of October, we run 5 matches facing off against all 5 masterminds. I mean, big bads, using the contents of that set. And even though I'm just playing the one player solo setups for these videos, there are two player games available as well in its own separate league to make sure that this set gets the love that it's due. Now, meanwhile, on the Marvel side of things, Giant Size Week number two continues this month with Secret Wars Volume 1, Black Panther, and Marvel Studios and Wasp. Then in November, we'll have the next Giant Size Week featuring 2099, Black Widow, Midnight Suns, and Venom running through November and December to wrap up the year. But that's not all. November also kicks off with our annual Extra Life Marathon during the first weekend of November. That's 24 hours of live across Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and some new promo token cards also being released that weekend as well. All of that is, of course, to support UVA Children's Hospital. Uh, but also, starting this month on LegendaryLeagues.com is a new Core Values League featuring the Core Set and a new Versus League featuring MCU Phase 1, Civil War, and X-Men. It's a very busy month. But now, before we get started, uh, a reminder that even though it's not currently marathon time, we are raising money with Extra Life for UVA Health Children's Hospital. Now, together, we've already raised so much money this year, but you can still donate today to name some of my cards or get some promos or create a custom match setup for me to play. All the details are on the donation page, and you can learn more by clicking the link below this video or going to legendaryleagues.com and clicking the Extra Life Donate button there or scanning the QR code that shows up on the screen during this match. However you choose to donate, know that you're helping to change kids' health and change the future. So thank you for your support. And we'll be right back with our match for the week, right after Anna Grace's Extra Life story. Hi, my name's Anna Grace. I'm 11 years old and I'm from Fort Thomas, Kentucky. I play wheelchair basketball for the Cincinnati Dragons. It's a travel team, so we've gone to Wisconsin, Atlanta, Florida, somewhere in there. Anna Grace was adopted from China when she was 27 months old, and six weeks after she came home, she had her first surgery on her leg. The doctors who reviewed her file, they weren't sure if she was ever gonna be able to walk. They weren't sure if she had an intact pelvis based on the pictures, but she got into her first prosthesis then. I think it was about two weeks after her surgery and took her first independent steps, and she hasn't stopped moving since. Or talking. Or talking. <laughs> All right, so for this first match, we are up against the first. So the first of our mastermind today, our, our big bad, uh, it's kind of like Galactus, right? Uh, 12 attack. Uh, on a master strike, you destroy the library space. Um, so I'll make sure to explain things for people who haven't seen a Buffy game before. The library is your HQ here. Um, so you destroy the library space closest to the first. KO in here or there, place the Master Strike in that space, and then when there are five Master Strikes in the library, evil wins. So he destroys the HQ for the library, um, just like Galactus does for the city. So, uh, pretty cool, bloody stuff. So he has a dark ability here. Um, so when the dark ability triggers, it says reveal the top three cards of the villain deck, play any Master Strikes revealed this way, Shuffle the other cards and place them on the bottom of the villain deck. All right, so uh, if you're not familiar with Buffy, on the side of the mat here, we have this light and dark track. We start at dark one, and things will advance the dark to move down, uh, down this track. And if it's ever at three and it advances the dark again, it goes down and off. We trigger the big bad's dark ability and then reset our counter to dark one. Similarly, we can advance the light, right? Moving up, one, two, three. If we ever advance off of that, um, then, oh, sorry. I need the wide version for this. Um, if we ever advance off the, uh, off the third space, then we gain a courage token and move back to light one. We start the game at dark one. Uh, the courage tokens, you start the game with one of these. And you can spend it at any time for one recruit or one attack. 
All right. So his dark ability reveals the top three cards of the villain deck. Plays any master stroke. Is it any? Uh, yep. Play any master strikes revealed this way. Ouch. Okay. Uh, what else do we have? Okay, so our scheme is summon the Uber Vamps, and you can kind of see here, um, this is a custom printout of, um, a mock-up that someone did with, uh, on WarGameGeek, uh, with some adjust adjustments that I made for solo play, because as it is, uh, this, the scheme didn't work great, um, but th this definitely helps it. So what we're going to do is we've got eight twists in the deck. And we've got all 10 of these Turakhan Vampire henchmen in the deck, right? We've included those, and we're going to start with two in the city per the what-if solo rules. Um, and if you think, hey, these henchmen have five attack. Yeah, they're, they're, they're tough. They are uber vamps, right? They're, they're supposed to be tough. If you fight them, you gain a courage token, so that's always nice. Um, so we're going to start with two of those in the city. Uh, on twist one through four, we're going to play one from our victory pile. It enters just as if you had played it from, from the villain deck. And then you play another card from the villain deck. Twist five and six, you play two from your victory pile instead. Uh, and then play another card from the villain deck. Twist seven and eight, play three Turrican from your victory pile. And then play another card from the uh, Evil wins when there are three Turrican uh, in the escape pile. So those modifications are there to help keep the pressure on because with one player, you don't have enough of these really coming back in and putting pressure on the city the way that you need for the scheme to really function the way it's supposed to. Um, all right, so what else do we have here? Our villains for this game are Glory's minions. And for the heroes, we're gonna start with Anya. And let me... Here we go. Okay, so we've actually got three, two Anyas here in the in the library to start. Um, Anya works. Anya does a lot with courage tokens, which is actually really really useful for this uh, for this scheme. Uh, so she has uh, must be bunnies here. You can disc you may discard a card if you do gain a courage token. Um, Terra works very well with being discarded and other discard triggers, right? Um, so this lets you discard your whole hand and then draw cards equal to the cards discarded this way. This one says, if you discard this card, gain two courage tokens. Great. Um, we're going to need all the courage we can get to make sure we're taking out these vampires. Uh, and then I brought in Jenny Calendar. Uh, she kind of bridges this. All three of our heroes here use tech cards. So, um, but tech in this in in this set, I think, represents more magic uh, than than anything else. So uh, we've got uh, yeah, we've got tech going through here. She's also got blue to work with Terra. Um, Anya, I think, is going to do. She's going to do more based off courage tokens. So that's our hero deck. With that, I think. Let's see, is there anything else I need to talk about? Yes. Okay, um, there are two spaces here. So Sunnydale High and Downtown. Whenever you fight someone here, you get to advance the light for free. Right? So that would move up one on our track. Uh, and apart from that, I think that's about it. Um, we Well, we also have our potential slayers here. There are our officers. Um, they have a built-in ability where instead of playing it, you can discard it to advance the light for free. Um, I've got... Oh my gosh, I just realized I have all recruit here. That's bad. That's really bad. Um, well, let's go ahead and get started and see how this turns. All right, turn number one. Well, here's our first scheme twist. That's not bad. Nobody else is coming back. Um, so we don't have anyone to play. Uh, but then we do play another card from the villain deck. So Ben Wilkinson comes in. Fight. Hey, gain two courage tokens. This is... Okay, that's pretty good. Not a bad thing to start with. My... Reminder card here. Okay. 
So we've got one attack and then one, two, three, four, five, three, four, five, and one. And I need to cycle someone before I forget. Um, who do I want to get rid of? Um, so this lets you cycle heroes from the from the library onto the bottom of the hero deck. And if it's a supernatural hero, this team icon, Anya is the only one with it, you get a courage token. It's not bad. Um, Given the fact that I have so much, uh, so much recruit here, I think I want to keep this around. Advancing the light, I don't know that any, I don't know that anything's really going to push the dark on this. That's what you, uh, what you burn through your deck a lot faster. I don't know that I'm going to have a lot of KO, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one of these. Funny. All right, well, I'll spend three. I do like to burn through my deck very fast, so I'll take this for three. Ah, and I have nothing to spend the two on. Um, now, actually, I could spend my Courage token for an extra Recruit. I think I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I've got to get through this glut of heroes here. Um, I'll take Scholastic Ally. There's another one. Oh, man. Okay. There's another Scheme Twist. All right, fine. So, uh, still no one to, no one to bring back. Here comes Jinx Ambush. Captures by standards equal to the dark. So captures one. Oh, Billy Ford Fordham, the only bystander in the game that's worth two victory points. But when you rescue him, you advance the dark. Okay. Let's cycle. Um, hmm. Let's cycle one of these. More recruit. Oh, no. Uh, when you gain this card from the library, gain a Courage token. Put one on as a reminder. Um, and if you get the Scooby Trigger, she doesn't have, but my other heroes do. If you have three or more Courage tokens, you get plus two more Recruit. Okay, that's not bad. Um, oh no, this is bad. So three and three. Three and three. There we go. That's the right button to hit. Um, for th three recruit. I'm going to take this. Because that at least gives me a way. That'll give me more. That'll give me more tokens. I can't do anything with the three. Three attack. Oh, dear. Not off to a good start. I got to find. I've got to find some, some some attack here. Oh, all right. You want you wanted out, so sure. Four, five, and six. There's Doc. All right. What does Doc do? Cannot be fought if there are any other Gory's minions in Sunnydale. Ambush. Place all the heroes with even numbered cost in the library on the bottom of the hero. Okay, so let's go on. Come on, attack card. Well, that's rare. Something. Uh, if it's dark, set the light equal to the dark. And then with two blue triggers, gain a willow card from the library. Draw cards equal to the light. Um, I won't gain anything for free, but I can maybe draw some cards off of it while I get a little bit of attack. Ugh. Three, four, five, and one. Not, not what I want here at all. Okay, so let's go here. <laughs> this is infuriating. One, two, three, four, five, and six. 
I go bad. There's another two. Oh, now we're up to three. Okay. Okay, so uh, that is our first Uber Vamp escape. All right, let's do this. So, for two, I'm going to place this on the bottom of the hero deck. I will gain a courage token. Finally, all right, some attack here. Place a hero in the with a hero in the library on the bottom of the hero deck, and then blue trigger if there are no supernatural heroes in the library, you get plus one. Okay. Um, two. Well, oh wait a second, hold on. No. I have this in my. Hand. I think what I want to do, I want to play these. Now I'm going to play this. For one, discard my hand. I draw two cards. I advance the light. All right, one and one. Okay, that gets me up to three. I'm going to spin this for an attack. And I'm going to fight Ben. Advance the light and gain two courage tokens. Oof. Uh, one weird thing about Buffy, the Buffy said, the VP on the villains is incredibly low. Look at this. One point. Um, Doc here is worth two. If you find someone that's worth three, it's a miracle. Oh, uh, let's see. Oh, before I go any further yeah let's spend our four here so i can get some <laughs> something else that i can attack with okay that was my next card oh bunnies okay okay two three Four, five, and six. Turn five. Master Sprite. Okay. So, destroy the library space closest to the... Ah, oh, that's very disappointing, actually. <laughs> I wanted to get that. Okay. Uh, okay, when you hear her there, place this spot. Done. Fortunately, we are no longer playing extra cards after Master. Okay. All right, I, I think this is good. Um, I'll play this for two. I can discard a card to gain a Courage token. Then we've got one, two, one Recruit, two, and then place someone on the bottom. I think. Um, Actually, no. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this. Awesome. Uh, Doll's Eye Crystal. If, to attack, if you discard this, draw two cards. That is a very good engine. All right, so we've got four here. I can spend one for an attack. Take out these vampires. Gain a Courage Token. Then I can spend a Courage Token for Recruit, and I'll take the Crystal here. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Turn six. Master Strike. Oh. Okay. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Uh, well, let's see. So I could discard this card from my hand and get two courage tokens. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I could potentially get there, but hmm. Now let's. All right. Let's start with our attack. 
And then we'll discard our hand. Discard this for two courage tokens. Up to four. So we're going to draw four cards. Two, three, four. One attack. I'll put this on the bottom. You recruit. Urge token. Ooh, there we go. Uh, use the ability of any non-supernatural hero in the library and then place it on the bottom of the deck. That's pretty cool. And then one, two, three, four, five. Buy that. Okay. I probably will. Let's see. Anything else I need to do? Um, I think we're going to cash in three for attack. I'm going to fight Doc. Doc's going to let me advance the white for that space. He's also worth two points. And then I'll spend my five for Jenny. And we're done. All right, so the white's on three at this point. That's good. If I can, if I advance it one more time, I get a free courage token. Two, three, four, five, and six. Game twist. Okay. So this is twist number three. So we're going to play a Turrican from my victory pile and then play another card from the deck. Oh, look. It's another one. All right. See, that's what I like about these. It's going to keep the pressure on. I'm going to cycle this. Another one of those. That's good. Okay. What can we do? I think Anya is the only one that has KO in this set. In the in this hero lineup. Right? I'm going to discard this. Gain a token. And then I'm going to... Oh... Um, yeah, I'm going to discard and draw three. Do three. So we've got three, four, five, two. And then I get to cycle someone. Oh, I have to. All right, I'm going to get rid of the rare. It's pretty small. Oh, place. Oh, this is not a good rare for this. Uh, for this um, mastermind. Place all heroes in the library on the bottom of the hero deck. You get plus one for each non supernatural hero in the library. Eh. Uh, and then with both triggers, you get to gain a hero for free. Not great. I'm going to go ahead and spend three recruit. I want to take another one of these because. In the absence of KO, it at least speeds me through my deck. And then for two, I'm going to spend three, four, five. I will fight this Turakhan, gain a Courage token, advance the white, gain another Courage token. Three, six. Jinx. After no bystanders. There is no dark right now. Well. I could use this. I could use this ability. Um. Use the ability. Actually, no. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do that yet. Um let's start here. 
I'm just gonna make this go away. Okay. Do we, yeah. Oh, she's supernatural, though. I can't do that. Uh, well, that's fine. Use the ability of any non here. Okay. So, I will use this ability. So, I don't get the recruit, I just get the abilities that are printed on it. So that'll let me draw a card because I've got a blue trigger. And then place this on the bottom. I like to have that and keep it around, but it will. Uh, and that's to attack. And I've got another one, two, three, four. And two here. Okay. So for six, I'll spend five. I'll fight these Turakhan. Advance the light. Gain a token. For four? Yeah, let's go ahead and take Techno Pagan for four. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. More vampires. Let's see what we can do here. Okay, let's let's start here. Uh, use the ability of any non. So it's this. All right. So first, I get two attack for playing this. Use this ability. Place a hero on the bottom of the hero deck. That. Four. Okay. I'm just going to go here. Alright. Place a hero on the bottom. There are still supernatural, so I don't get a bonus. Now this goes to the bottom. Okay. Now we'll play Techno Pagan for two more. Place a hero on the bottom of the deck. Yay, there are no supernatural heroes, so I gain plus one. And another one. One, two, draw a card. One, two, discard for a token. Plus one. Okay. I still like getting these. Um, let's spend three. Go ahead and buy this. Oh, oh, that's that's the one I need. That's the one I have to get. So that's Anya's rare. Do one of the following based on your courage tokens. So if you have zero to three, you gain three tokens. Four to seven, defeat a villain for free. Eight plus, defeat the big bad and lose half of your tokens rounded up. There we go. And I can't get there with these four tokens. Well, hold on. Hold on. Yes, I can, because I can spend three, four, five. I can fight this guy. Gain a token. Hold on. What am I missing? Uh, two? Yes, three, four. Yeah, I got five here. So three, four, five. Send it, buy this, because it's in the danger zone here. Okay. Two, three, four, five, and six. Now what I want to do is I want to get this. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. I want to try and get this so I can speed through my deck and find that card faster. That's the goal. All right, this is twist number four. We're going to play one for a con and then another card from the villain deck. Oof. All right, we're going to cycle. 
Um, that's uh, yeah. Do this. There we go. That's a good one to have. Um, and this is exactly why. So I'm going to discard my hand. One, two, three, four, five, and then draw two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Strong. Okay. <laughs> That's one recruit. Oh, here we go. We can do it again. Uh, the question is, do I want to buy this first? Anything to do? One, two. I gotta make that go away. Oof. Four. Take this. Now we're gonna discard our hand. Four. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just play this out. Or at least as much of it as I can. Because. Let's see. One, two, three, four. I can get to four. I don't know if I can get to five. I need five to fight something. Um, one, two, three. Okay, I've got one card left in my deck. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, it's a starter. And I've got two attack cards there. Three, four. So it's a recruit card. I'm not going to be able to fight as it is. So I think what I need to do... Let's try it. I gotta, I gotta try. Um, so I'm going to... Put this on the bottom. Oh, no, no, no. I'll put this on the bottom. I don't get the trigger. And now I'm going to get one recruit. I'm going to discard these three. One. There he is. Got a shuffle. I will advance the light. That's cool. Pretty close. One, two, and three. No. Oh. Uh, well, hold on. Draw a card. There we go. Yes, this will work. Well, hopefully. Hopefully it'll work. I'm going to put this on the bottom. Okay, good. There are no supernaturals. That gets me to five. Barely made it. All right, so I'm going to spend five. question is, do I, do I go here? Do I want to... Actually, if I go... For... If I fight here, I get one, two tokens. Yeah, this is, I think this is the better move. Well, I'm only worried because he has a bystander, right? I don't want to lose him because that is three points. Three points is hard to come by. Ugh, oh, fine. Let's do it. I'm going to take these guys out. Um, Billy advances the dark, which is sad, but what happens? All right, I will take this to advance through my deck faster for three, and I'll do it again. Okay, three, six, game twist. Okay, figured it was coming. All right, so twist number five, we're playing two 
for a cons. So he escapes. Uh, his escape effect advances the dark for each bystander he has. Nothing there. I do have to KO a hero. KO that. That's really good. Um, I also need to cycle. I'd rather have these than this. Okay, here we go. I don't know why I haven't been able to find that KO yet. Okay. Well, let's start here. Gain three tokens. That's critical. Now... haven't even begun uh so discard your hand one two three four five six or that oh oh that's bad that's bad <coughs> i don't have enough to fight that's really, really bad. We've got five. So I'm trying to think how many of these do I have? There's one here, two, three. I've got, I've got four? Really? That's. I didn't think I had that many. So this is the last one. Instead, I'm going to spend my four here. So I can pick up some more tokens. Or sorry, I can pick up more cards. Uh, uh that would have that would have given me a token. Yeah, I Well. It is what it is. Alright, we Oh, okay. Good news is, on a twist, I don't have any villains that I can play. I really need to try and pick up this. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do it while I'm shuffling. I'm going to spend one for the recruit. <laughs> there we go. This is the card I've been looking for, right? Gain two courage tokens, kill a card in your hand, and on a tech trigger, gain another courage token. Is the money okay? Right. Four, five, and six. Oh, it's another Turakhan. They will push and escape. So that's two. I gotta make a big push this turn. Uh, cycle, K or yeah, KO somebody on the escape. Oh, there we go. All right. Hey, look at that. Let's gain... Actually, hold on. I don't want to don't want to do that first. I want to disc bar. Oh, that's not the thing that I thought it was. Oh, that's fine. We'll discard this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Discard that to gain a token and draw two. Okay. Then I have three tokens. I can't get anything else. So I will get three more tokens. That's good. Now. Do, do I want to play someone down? I need to I need to cycle someone. All right. Oh my goodness. All three of them right together. All right, one. Discarding three. There we go. Mm. And I do get to advance the light. Good. Three attack. One recruit. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to spend my five. I'm going to fight here. I'm going to gain a courage token. I'm going to advance the light. Gain another courage token. Now, uh, one, two, three, four, 
five. Fight here. You gain a courage token. Advance the light. I'm going to spend one for a recruit. Take the money. And there we go. Ooh, no, this this is going to be the end. So we play two in. This is twist number six. Ooh, play another card from the villain deck. Oh, and that's our third. There we go. Oh, man, I cannot believe. There was just I couldn't find any attack for so, so long. Oh man, that was that was tough. Uh, is that seven now? Three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that was seven twists at the end. Um, still a lot here. Didn't find that many of the villain group. Let's see, one, two, three. Oh, maybe I did. I guess I did. Um, here, so here's my victory points at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have six points. I told you, not a lot of victory points in, in, in Buffy games here. So six, you really want to fight that mastermind. Oh man, that was a good game though, still. I, I liked it. Uh, it is, it is good to be able to, to, to break out the Buffy set and play again. So, uh, I hope that, uh, oh, there's an ambush effect. Um, I hope that you're, uh, that you're enjoying this. I hope that you have a copy of the set and you can play along. Uh, I think, I think you can find them even, even still on, on Amazon pretty cheap. Um, you know, there, there was the always clearance a couple years, a year or two ago, but, uh, I think if you look around, you might be able to find one that's easy to acquire. And it's worth it. Such a such a really good like mechanical set. Like the way the light dark track works is a lot of fun. So uh, it was a tough game, but I hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time. Bye. We believe when we positively change the health of even one child. A ripple effect is created and felt by our communities for years to come. When we ensure our children can lead healthy, fulfilling lives, we foster the scientists, inventors, gamers, and leaders of tomorrow. You can help us change kids' health and change the future for all of us. Register at extra-life.org.